this is really interesting because I bought this book because I wanted to get an introductory book on computer science and it's an awesome book. This is a really great book, but there's something about this book that I didn't realize until after I bought it. It says it here. It says the complete middle school study guide. And I guess people learn this in middle school now, but I feel like this book has a lot of knowledge and is perfect for anyone who wants to learn like the very basics of computer science. It reminds me of an old C programming book that I have that I read from beginning to end. And the first chapter talks about computers and what computers are, and how they work. And this book has that and a lot more. And it's really a book for anyone. So I think it's like the perfect beginner book for someone who wants to learn computer science. So don't let the part about the middle school study guide, you know, kind of deter you from, you know, trying out this book. So I've read small portions of it. I got it uh, a few weeks ago. And so far, I love it. I, I think it's a great book. Everything you need to ace computer science and coding. By the way, this is by, uh, I believe it's called Workman Publishing. They have other books that I've reviewed, some math ones, and they're all excellent. Also, this is a soft cover, but it feels like it's really, really tough. And I'm not saying you can throw it around, but it feels like it's more well-made than like other soft cover books I have. It's like a weird material. Let's take a look at the inside of this book so you can see what it's about. Here's the contents. It starts with computing systems. What is computer science? What is a computer? How do we interact with computers? You know, and so where do you learn that? You learn that in a book like this, or oftentimes in certain computer science books, they have like a little introductory section where they kind of give you an overview of computers. Data and analysis, so storing information, collecting and using information. And the way it explains all this, by the way, is at a very, very elementary level. It's, it explains it in a very, very easy way because again, it's for, you know, it's a middle school study guide. That's how it's marketed. But I really think it's more than that. I think it's for everyone. Software engineering, designing computer systems, testing, documenting, incorporating feedback, collaborating, algorithms and programming. So using algorithms, programming languages, and computational thinking. I love the artwork. It's just such a great job with books like this. Just really, really fun. Universal programming principles. <laughs> I am a data type. That's great. Variables, conditional statements, loops, events, procedures. Programming with Scratch, getting started, basic algorithms, data and operators, control blocks and event blocks, reusing scripts. I'm going to go through everything carefully because it's really impressive how much is in this book. Programming in Python, which is super popular. So it starts with getting started with Python, variables in Python, strings, numbers as variables, lists and Boolean expressions, for loops, while loops and nested loops, conditional statements and functions. And I like how it has a Python. <laughs> Let's get coding. Yeah, just a fun book. Web development. What is the internet, right? I mean, what is it? And I like how they have this guy here. It says passwords. <laughs> That's wonderful. Cybersecurity, creating a basic web page, HTML, text elements, link elements, styling with CSS, styling individual elements with CSS. I'm just really shocked that this is a middle school study guide. I just can't get over it. And when I got it, I, I opened the box and I was like, what? <laughs> what? What? I thought this would be a really cool book to buy and read. So I bought it and, you know, apparently I'm into middle school computer science books. Chapter one, what is computer science? A computer is a device that stores and processes, changes, moves, or rewrites information. It can perform complicated computations and organize and store huge amounts of information. Computer science is the study of computers and how computer technology can be used to solve problems. It involves studying computing systems, programming rules, data and analysis, networking the internet, and how computers affect our lives. Very cool. Let's just look through more of this because it's got some cool stuff and it. it's got some fun stuff. Oh, here, this is fun. Look at this. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of humor, which I think makes it fun. Okay, examples of what computer science is and is not. So computer science is creating a phone app, so like an application or a program that allows friends to share funny cat videos with each other. And that, that's, I didn't expect that. Programming your own video game. And then here, computer science is not. Watching videos on the internet of cats riding tricycles. Yeah, so if you're on the internet watching videos of cats riding tricycles, 
Um, that's not what computer science is about. Playing your favorite video game. Oh, I'd be a computer science master if that was computer science because I love video games. Computer science is writing a program that calculates the answers to math problems in your homework. That's pretty hardcore and pretty interesting. I should probably make some videos on that. I think that'd be kind of fun. Just make videos on how to use like, you know, C and Python to you know solve math problems. I think it's kind of fun. Writing a program to automatically post nice comments on your friends' pictures. That's cool. That's cool. Computer science is not doing your math homework on your school's laptop. Commenting on the latest picture your friend posted. <laughs> Don't just play on your phone, program it. It says, all the examples in the in the is not list only use technology while the examples in the is list create new technology. Right, 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 right. It's like a, a lot of people, um, when they go to college, they study computer science because they want to make video games, but they don't realize that, you know, making video games is not the same as playing video games. But but it is similar. You know, I, I made a really bad video game once and I love video games, so... Yeah, therefore, <laughs> everyone who plays video games should program. No, I don't know. Uh, too much fun. The five concept areas of computer science, so computing systems, algorithms, and programming. Yeah. Turn the page, see what else we got. Data and analysis, networks and the internet, and then impacts of computing. Let's jump ahead to something else so we can take a, a further look at, uh, oh, cloning. What's this? Cloning a sprite is when you make copies of it. The clone blocks are found in the control category of the blocks menu. Interesting. So this chapter that we just randomly opened to is on reusing scripts. Very nice. Got all kinds of stuff. And apparently, apparently this is uh, studied in middle school. Uh, I'm just really shocked by that. I didn't expect uh, middle school students to you know be learning stuff like this certainly when i was in middle school this this was not a thing um my main memories of middle school were uh playing chess middle school is when i suffered my first uh defeat uh to another person uh besides my family members in the game of chess i, I lost a game of chess when i was in middle school to a very tall girl she was very very tall and she crushed me in front of everyone else that's what I remember from middle school. I don't remember studying computer science, so kind of wish I would have. This is really interesting. Got all kinds of stuff, and it's really well made, which I don't know. Maybe it's because it's it's for middle middle school kids, and like I guess they can be rough with it. I don't know, but they have some math books as well, and I, I reviewed uh, one of their math books, and I'll be reviewing some more because I have a couple of them, and they're all excellent. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description uh, in case you want to check out this book. But I think it's just a fun book if you want to learn about computers. Apparently, it's intended for middle school students. But again, I I really think it's for everyone, right? Books like this are fun. You can learn a lot of math or a lot of computer science in this case. And yeah, I like it. I hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, good luck and take care.